Hello, Keiko here, and welcome to the chaos. Let's go. Okay, where am I going? I'm looking for the rest of those things. Um, where was the sundial supposed to be? Hmm. Hmm. Oh well, I think one of them was vaguely this way. I'm gonna have a look. <laughs> okay. Is it ah? I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be something in this general direction. But there could be more than one thing. Oh I am lost and confused. And the thing is, if I get it wrong, I have to, like, go back. It takes so long. Okay, that's just mint. Look at that. That's fine. Oh! Ayaka! Do not fall off the cliffs! That would be bad. Anyway, this seems to be vaguely in the direction of these things. There were two that looked vaguely in this direction. It's just mint. So there was one that was sort of along all of those cliffs. Hmm. I think there's one up there. That thing is too tall. Well, I don't want to go all the way up there. But that, that's fine. I keep picking up all these mint and these flowers. It's just on the odd chance that, uh. Oh! Oh, that's Sumeru! Nice. <laughs> Just the odd chance that it tells me, oh, congrats, you found the, the magic flower instead of, you know, a regular flower. But so far, it hasn't happened. <laughs> but I have faith it will happen eventually. Okay, wait, Ayaka. Okay, okay. Now, how do I climb up it? Ooh. I see one of those floaty things. That will be helpful. Okay. Let's let's do a little boost jump. And up we go. Okay. And are you regular mint? That's regular mint. Are you regular? Hmm. How about you? Hmm. How am I supposed to get all the way up there? Hmm. Hmm. I can do this. It might help if I had Kazaha though. Let me let me grab Kazaha. Um Kazaha. Oh Kazaha. Okay. This will be good. Hopefully with Kazaha we can do a little bit of a jumping. You know who'd be really useful right now? Scaramouche. But unfortunately, fate did not want me to have him. <laughs> but if we had Scaramouche right now, we could just fly up there. How easy would that be? Um, let's go over here. Oh, we know that's a... You know what? I'm just gonna leave. That's not my problem anymore. Let's <laughs> gonna ignore that. Okay, it's still trying to kill me. That's not so good, but that's fine. Let's go ignore it. Okay, there better be one up here. <laughs> Oh, that's not good. Okay, Kazaha. Come on, Kazaha. I believe in you. Okay. And up you go. You can do it. Okay. Okay. There's gotta be something up here. Surely. This is just a long way up. Hmm. 
What is that? Huh? Who's yelling at me? There's some weirdo. Weirdo who? Oh, there's a guy! Is it this guy? What lowly folk are you? Do you not see that these flowers are kept by someone? How dare you pick them so casually? See this at once. How uh, wait these flowers are? Indeed, they were found by my keen and discerning eye and watched over thusly for three days. Not planted by you? Uh, no, indeed, but they are mine now. Verily did I even swear in my heart that I shall care for these flowers that create a lovely and great glazely garden far from the strictures and standards of the norm. Are you going to make a glazely garden with these flowers? But what of it? Do you think I am but a rough person bereft of any sense of aesthetics? I should think I would judge a book, book by their cover so. It's all that, it's just that you say you want to create a glazely garden though these flowers are actually chings. Eh? Huh? <laughs> I get now, I get it, you're trying to shape my will, aren't you? The last for you, I am Tang Wuchou, true disciple of the 320th Guhua clan generation. Did you really think you could fool me with such shallow trickery? Does it really have that many generations of peoples and you say that when well, you're just like a treasure hoarder? How dare you insult the long and venerable history of the Guhua clan? How that ye scoundrels? Oh. <laughs> why am I why am I fighting you? This is this is not great. <laughs> I didn't think we were fighting people. I thought we were just gonna, you know, pick up flowers. So I didn't bring my combatants. <laughs> I brought my gatherers who are good at uh picking up flowers. But it's fine. That ended well. Uh ow, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, stop hitting me, please. This person's martial skills are a complete wash. You think that I, with many long years of training, would not be your match all the same? Ah yes, they say, a fine sell for a fine horse, a fair sell for a fair boat. No, wait, that's not it. Fine sword for a fair hero, that's how it went. So yes, please take this glazily with you, oh mighty hero. Did anybody say that these are Qingxin? Qing ah yes, yes, Qingxin, Qingxin indeed, it does as you say. Are you really from the Guhua clan, hmm? Right, do you know some guy called Sing Chiu? Sing Chiu? I've never heard this name. What does this Sing Chiu person call himself? A Guhua disciple? Ah, uh, how could such a knave be allowed to study the Guhua name? Right, so is it from the Guhua clan? Actually, you know, isn't he the one studying the Guhua name around here? One moment, please, do you have any proof of your claim that you're from the Guhua clan? Of course I do. Yes, come look at this jade pendant I have on me. This is a hereditary treasure of the Guhua clan. This jade pendant was sold to me by an old friend when we parted, and that was when I decided in my heart it should become just such a hereditary treasure. Since I began wearing this jade pendant, I feel a dull headache every time I practice martial arts. Uh, sounds like this jade pendant has some issues. And eh, nonsense. The first day it wore off, I wore it and Adeptus came to me in a dream and taught me the secret arts of the Guhua clan. Adeptus even said it was fated that the pendant should come into my possession. The pains I feel in my head are merely growing pains. Ugh. Oh wait, signs that my consciousness is expanding. That's what the novels say after all. These are the signs that my thoughts and my wills are growing stronger. There can be no problems here. Unless... Alright, yes I got it. Ha 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 ha. I see now you want this jade pendant but are too afraid to ask, yes? Thus, you seek to use this so-called problem as an excuse. How very moral of you, I mean, how very polite of you. But nay, this is the Guhua clan's greatest treasure. If you wish to claim it from me, you must. You must surely exchange it for something of equal value. Yes, like a gem the size of a pigeon egg or something. What would I do without my wounded pride as a 320th generation disciple of the Guhua clan otherwise? Looks like it's the weird pendant thing that's made this guy believe he's a Guhua disciple, Keiko. And it's driving him kind of nuts too. If he keeps wearing the pendant and keeps saying, staying this far above ground, something terrible's gonna happen to him for sure. He wants us to give him some gen size of pigeon egg, eh? But he doesn't look like he can tell left from right or good from bad right now. Let's try giving him a few bird eggs, shall we? Well, like I said, if you can offer an item of equal value, I can give this to you, no problem. Give him a bird egg. Okay. Have an egg. I have a lot of eggs. There you go, we'll trade this for that jade pendant. This is a gemstone the size of bird egg, you know? The size of bird's egg, alright, well I never thought the gem the size of a bird pigeon's egg was as large as they could get, but a bird's egg? A jade pendant for such a large gem, what a deal. This naturally, and this, naturally, is thanks to the magnanimous inclination of us Guhua disciples. I mean, it was on account of your great sincerity, yes, your great sincerity that led us to make this trade. <laughs> he takes it off and passes it to me. Uh, as the jade pendant you take it, your destiny is intertwined with that of us of the Guhua clan, it seems so... It seems, so do take care of this treasure. Uh, why that expression of discontent on your face, Goe? Eh? How this thing is filled with geo energy, isn't this smuggler's jadeite? 
Hi, Robert Baidu saying something about it. Not that Pi remembers it in full, but whatever it was, this stuff isn't all that good for people. That's not possible. My small brother bought this for me. How could he seek to harm me? And he was has made so many other ornaments from jade to boot. Your friend, you say? That's right. We call him Old Cho. He works in the jade industry. Where is he right now? He should be near the chasm. Last I heard, he's still selling, helping to sell ornaments made from jade. Take care of that person still selling ornaments made from Smugglers Jadeite. There could be a lot of people put, being put in harm's way. We'd better go down there and check. Okay. Hello. Ah, who'd have thought? Who'd have thought that the world might play host to gem the size of Birdseck? Okay, he seems content. That's fine. <laughs> okay, I was supposed to be looking for cliffs, but I kind of want to go and look for this. But also, before we go, we should probably check that there wasn't... Because there was a bird that was supposed to be very high up. I don't see a bird. But I'd hate to find out that the bird was, like, right here. Because like, that, that was, like, a bird. Is that the bird? Because I don't want to go back down just to find out the bird was right up here this whole time. That would be quite embarrassing. So let me... Let me go over here. Hello, oh, bird. Do I have to? What do I have to do? Do I have to? Mahita? Hmm. Oh, Mahita. Do not fall off the mountain, Nahida. That is not the plan. <laughs> I'm kind of hoping Yeguai will hit the bird. Yeguai did not hit the bird. I think we need Yelan for this. So let me grab Yelan. I assume we're supposed to aim for the bird. It seems like where this is going. I forgot my aim is terrible. No! <laughs> How am I supposed to do this? Okay, okay, no! Okay. Gotta, gotta believe in myself. No! Nope! <laughs> How are you supposed to hit a bird? It's really close as well. Oh! Wait, was this not like the magic bird? I sort of assumed it was. Maybe I just hit a bird for no reason. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> was that not the bird? <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. Was that not the bird? I was supposed to get a feather, I didn't get a feather. Maybe it's... it's just not. <laughs> well that's... that's not good. Okay, okay. Okay. Well... Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Uh, let me see. Where... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh dear. I may or may not have a... Oh. It's somewhere completely different. I opened a map. It's somewhere over here. I'm on the wrong mountain, which means I can continue in peace, which also means that that bird, uh... Whoops. <laughs> oh dear. My bad. But anyway, I'm supposed to be going vaguely up here, I think. Or well, there's something vaguely up here. We're gonna see if we can talk to this mysterious jadeite seller, and then, and then we're gonna go look for the. We're gonna go back to talking to the other guy to see if he can um show us where we're supposed to be. Um, hello. Uh, hello there, you two. Is there anything I can help you with? Are you here to try your hand at digging for treasure just for a bit of fun? I uh, know we've got something else to talk to you about today. This jade pendant. You sold this, yes? Ah, this jade pendant. Yes, I did indeed sell it here. Let me have a more careful look at it. Wait a moment, the texture of smoothness, this transition isn't the very one I sold to Tang Wuchol. I indeed, I knew from the start this one was different from the others. 
At the time, I wanted to sell it for a pretty sum, but he caught tongue with Cho's eye, and he begged me and cajoled me until I sold it to him on the cheap. There's only one that looks like this. I sure wish I could pull a second one out of my hat, that's for sure. A few could think if just this one. The material is filled with elemental energy. If someone without a vision is in contact with it, they will experience changes in personality and start talking nonsense day in and day out. Tang Wu Cho currently believes himself to be a great hero of the Gu Hua clan and spends his days behaving all crazy and stuff. But what, how could this be? Actually, now you mentioned this gem does resemble the fabled smuggish jadeite quite a bit. The material was said to cause swearer some discomfort. I heard the older folks say while smuggish jadeite is very valuable, it is a thing of an ominous importance, and that long time exposure will bring about calamity. Oh no, I've doomed Tang, haven't I? We both treasure hoarders once, we decided to part ways after making a pretty sum of the chasm. I don't know where Tang Wuchou went off to, but as for me, I was found by our former companions. They threatened me and forced me to buy their low quality jewelry that they made here and sell it in Liyue. They call it helping with sales, it really are the materials they use of e the equal of Strong, Strong Lu Hall, all their designs are matched for meeting jewelry. They're just making me do the dirty work for them. I had to lower the price so much, I was practically losing more on sales. I basically used up all the more I made in our previous job, but it seems like those fellows have finally woken up to the idea they might sell the base materials for a better price. They haven't come to look for me at all recently. Actually, they've all been captured by the Middle East who infiltrated their ranks. We tell him about the, the smuggling debt. Ah, that's a good catch for sure, that was. They even threatened to report me to the Middle East too, you know? Now Luke is going to eat prison food, hmm? Ah, sorry I got off topic. I'm very sorry about Tang, but I've buried all my valuables in the dirt, you know? To do a little business and a little more. How about this then? I'll let you dig for treasure once so you can give whatever you find to Tang Wu Cho as compensation. Oh, I'm gonna have to climb. Oh, digging. I'm gonna have to go back there though. I don't wanna go back up that cliff. How about around treasure hunting right now? Whatever you dig up, we'll go to Tang Wu Cho's compensation. Ooh. Now, how many are there? One, two, three. Hmm. Kinda wanna go for the middle one. But that seems a bit boring. I'm gonna offset the middle one. Yeah. Oh, we got a bag of ornament. Okay. Hello. Well, let's have a look. What did you get? Oh, so you actually got this bag, huh? What's inside? Oh, these uh, ornaments are kind of ghastly. Well, they're made by the treasure hoarders and proved just about as popular as their makers. If nothing else, they're still made of genuine material, so you can still cut those gems out and sell them for pretty some. I'll just give this a tongue, will you? All right, we're off then. If you have the time, come around and dig for some more treasure, all right? Should we go back now, Keiko? Uh, yes. Wait, uh, let's pause it to him later. Wait, I dig for treasure? Uh, you'll miss out if you just walk about. Come try digging for some treasure. Indeed, how about it? Are you interested? What is this anyway? Do you mean we can dig up treasure somewhere amongst these piles of dirt? Of course you might. These piles of earth are filled with anything from cabbages to all. There's some truly good stuff in there too. Good stuff, huh? Can't we just keep digging until we get the good stuff then? No, of course not. Now I'm not going to lie to you, my name's not Old Chalk. See, some piles of dirt also have explosives hidden within them. You can keep digging so long as you don't dig any of those up. Once you do, it's game over, game over. Explosive? That sounds like a dangerous game we're playing here. I don't worry, these were all, I mean, borrowed on the sly many years ago from the underground mining camps. They're definitely duds right down to the last one. How about it? Want to have a go? Okay. I am definitely gonna explode. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> oh dear, I exploded it. <laughs> I wanna do that again. Okay, well that's fun. Um, how did you end up setting up a stall here? That's a long story. I was off the treasure hoarder doing some business here at the chasm. Please put your stall away. I've turned over a new life and gone legit. Of course, I did have some more stashed away when I split from the crew, but it all went down the drain after a while due to some circumstances. As such, I was forced to set up shop here and earn a little cash that way. Okay. Okay. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna go up here and see if we can uh, talk to Tang Wu Cho and uh, yeah, give him give him the stuff. It has also occurred to me that it is about boss time, but I don't think the people I usually fight bosses with 
are here right now. But if there is anyone who wants to fight the bosses, just let me know. And we can go boss fighting. <laughs> but if not, I will just continue exploring the chasm and trying to find all these treasures. I think I'm on four out of six, so it would be quite nice if I could get all six. Not entirely sure if that's going to happen, but it would be nice. <laughs> okay, I did not have enough stamina for that. Uh, let me swap back to the Kazaha party for easy climbing. Hopefully it will go well. Okay. We got this. Okay, we don't got this. Why don't we got this? Kazaha. good to see you good to see you you're late well i was late today too <laughs> anyway welcome welcome to the stream we're currently in the chasm but like the surface of the chasm specifically i'm supposed to be bringing some compensation to Tang Wu Chou because he got a little bit affected by some dodgy smog just jadeite <laughs> And then we were looking for the six lost items for the middle leaf, of the middle leaf or something. I think we found four. Well, I think I had a couple anyway. Like, I think I got one or two. Like, I think I got the cup in a quest and I found a spear by mistake. And we just got the helmet and a flower. And so now I'm trying to make my way back up. Um, and yeah, that's what we're doing today. And that'll be good, because if we do that, then I think that means next stream we can go into the chasm. Because so far, because I thought it would be a bit of a shame to go like deep within and not finish the quests on the outside, because then it, they just get like sitting here half done. Hence why we're doing them first. <laughs> oh, he's still further up, isn't he? How are you supposed to get up there? Why? Why is he so tall? Oh, I hate it. It's fine. It's gonna be fine. Okay. I believe in you, Kazaha. You can make it up this mountain. Uh, everyone is 100% Fontaine, me, Maki, who decides to go to the chasm. I mean, pretty much. The thing is. I already, I finished the little, like, event exploration quests, you know, the ones that were like, gather five flowers, defeat three enemies, like that, that quest. And, well, I didn't really want to explore the rest of Fontaine because I haven't got there yet. <laughs> I still have Sumeru to do, so I never really intended to, like, properly explore Fontaine. So I think I've explored it as much as I need to. And, uh, well, I'll get to the rest of it when I get to the rest of it. We, you know, we did that. Oh, and I got my garlic bread recipe, so what more could I want? <laughs> well, I guess I'll double check there aren't any more secret recipes that I haven't got yet. But otherwise, and I might meet the, um, the fisherman because I am a fan of the, the fishing, fishing association. But other than that, I don't, I don't need Fontaine. I will get there eventually. Yeah, I still need to do the Sumeru story. I haven't even done the chasm! Because <laughs> part of the chasm, like, there's a... There's Archon Quest in the chasm, isn't there? Like, Liyue Part 4 or something? I haven't done that! <laughs> like, I haven't done... I haven't done this! <laughs> I'm pretty sure you have to do that first, and then you can do... This, and then you can do this. So yeah, I haven't... I haven't done the Sumeru story quest. I have a lot... I have a lot to do. <laughs> So does it doesn't make sense to go to Fontaine. I mean, it does from like a exploring perspective, but then by the time we get to Fontaine, like for plot reasons, I'll have forgotten it all. <laughs> I mean, I've forgotten it all anyway, but um, you know, it would be kind of sad if I was to get there for the quest and everything was already finished. So yeah, we're gonna do it little by little. Which is why we're in the chasm. Oh, you forgot I don't even have the map unlocked? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a mess, but it's my mess. So, it's all good. <laughs> oh. 
anyway. But it's okay, we're getting closer and closer because we have finished Inazuma now. Well, okay, we haven't done Enkanamiya. Enka the underground water place. So my plan was to do the chasm, like all of the chasm, like quests, all the quests, you know, Archon quests and world quests. Just get that out of the way. And then to do Enkanamiya. And then we would go into Sumeru. And then eventually Fontaine. But I, Sumeru is quite big, <laughs> so I anticipate that will take a while. Anyway, hello! Hey ho, this gem is as large as a bird's egg, but it's so very light. And when you hold it up against the light, you can see a shadow within. Fascinating, how very fascinating. You're still looking at that egg, huh? Hey, Mr. Guhua Hero. Sorry, what? Ah, uh, yes, that's me, Tangul Chol. You're a 20th generation successor to the Guhua clan. Surely you must have come hence upon hearing of my great deed. Oh, it's you two, right? How about it then? Did you find old Cho? Uh, yes, let's start from the top, shall we? We tell him about the gift and his compensation. That's one huge bag. Let me see what's in it, eh? What in the world is with all these ornaments? And they're all so ugly. What is old Cho trying to make a fool of me, huh? That jade pen it made from smug jade like cost me lots of more, and he keep and keep kept contact with his sneaky treasure hoarders after supposedly washing his hands of the business. Ah, this ancient grudge, I might just have to cut him down for it. And you call yourself a hero? Wasn't the jade pen that something you wanted to buy yourself anyway? Hehehe, <laughs> you have a point. And it's not like he's got anything to do with the treasure hoarders anymore. He's opened a store to let people try their hand at digging for treasure. Digging for treasure, so he's doing that again. He used to pull that trick to get more of a wine. Let me tell you something, the treasure hunt of his works like this. The better the goods, the more explosive barrels there will be around it, and vice versa. It's like mine sweeper. For example, tiles that turn out to be empty won't have a single explosive barrel near it, while the best stuff is probably surrounded on all four sides by such barrels. Dingy fellow, he's deathly afraid that someone will get their hands on the good stuff, so he set the rules up such that the game ends once you dig up one explosive barrel. He said he'd just let us keep going this time, even if we dug them up. Is that so? Well, I suppose there's goodness left in his heart yet. Oh, fair enough, and if I had been there with him back then, my martial prowess would have prevented him from being manipulated by the treasure hoarders the way he was. You know what now? Uh, I mean, come on, I'm a martial artist. There might still be some distance between me and a true hero, but I can still handle a few treasure hoarders, no problem. I'll be looking for him later with two jugs of wine next time, I suppose, and we'll have a chat then. That was nice. <laughs> I like that the achievement was called Jack of No Trades. Like... <laughs> We've just accepted that this guy is a little bit useless. Which is fair, you don't have to be good at things, but uh, <laughs> it does make me laugh. Anyway, yes, we found four out of six. We're looking for, I think, the feather and the sundial, I think. Let me check. What's in my backpack? Hmm. So yes, we've got the flower, the cup, the helm, and the spear. Yeah, we need, we need just two more things. Let's talk to this guy and see where he says they are. Okay. The sky feather. Oh, it's that way. Ah. That pillar. Okay. And the sundial is all the way over there. Okay. I think I know where that is. We got this, we got this. Um, I think the feather is up here. And the thing is over there, I'd say. So let's see where this goes. Uh, Jack of no trades is also me. You say I can be useless? Nice, I mean, yeah. You don't have to be good at things. It, it's all good. <laughs> we always have too high expectations. Sometimes it's good enough to just be having a good time. <laughs> okay, okay. Now where am I going? Oh! The floor apparently. Hello. Oh, isn't cake and pie. Oh. I think I started another quest I didn't mean to. Uh, what's with him? He smells of gunpowder. Do I really smell that much? Oh well, I guess I have to take a bath and I return home. My daughter will give me an earful if I don't. Oh no, we've already talked to him. I remember the gunpowder guy. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm trying to climb this mountain with very little success. Why did I choose to do it this way? <laughs> okay, well, instead of doing that, let's try- Whoa. Whoa. That was weird. Um, let's try and find- Ooh! Hello! 
the elemental reactions within the chasm have, over its long history, turned the soil a wondrous violet red. The glazed sand crystal that can be gathered and processed from within has an almost unearthly, loyal, lovely luster to it. The tradition of processing glazed sand crystal has played a massive part in the fame that US porcelain gods ha goods have won. Hello. Allow me to let you in on a secret. Relic's laugh is actually still alive. Not only that, he'll definitely come to set up this whole mess here in the chasm. Who told you that? I figured it out myself. I mean, I've been here so long, I don't have any other hobbies, so what I do is put the various things I hear together. You see, Rex Lapis is passing in the appearance of that traveller followed closely after each other. So I thought, could this just be another one of the Lord of Geo's incognito travels? I'm not intending to grab here, but I reckon this is a most rational explanation by yours truly, no less. Did he just accuse me of being Zhongli? <laughs> uh, stunning news, eh? Let me tell you something. Here's Exuvia has actually transformed into some blonde-haired young woman! Ah! <sighs> With another part of his adeptal powers, he turned into some sort of adeptal fruit that can get angry and even sneeze. They're still going around Leo resolving all manner of calamities even today, protecting us all. A blonde haired young woman? Oh, interested are we? Then let me tell you something else, something that I've only told a couple of people. You know the traveller named Keiko who's been active all over the world lately? The person is actually Rex Lapis himself. You're not surprised, how can I remember blonde hair and talking adeptal fruit? Wait, are you that traveller? That's right, that's me and here's my adeptal fruit Paimon. Ah, so that rumour about the Traveller was true, and here I thought that Mooning was just boasting. Ah, oh, looks like there's hope for the situation in the chasm now. This man has some crazy conspiracy. <laughs> I want to see what he says about Paimon. That's right, they say this, that this Adeptal Fruit was created from the very essence of the Adeptal Energies of Heaven and Earth together. If a mortal were to eat it, they would be granted great longevity and the power enough to fell a bull in a single punch. Of course, I don't know if that's true or not, but I'd sure like to have a bite and see what it tastes like. Please don't eat Paimon. That's not going to end well. Um, are you looking for work around here? If you are, I'd advise you leave. There's nothing left to mine. Then why are you here? Well, you don't have any other talents other than mining, and you've got to make more somehow, am I right? Don't worry, I reckon I can still make ends meet this way. Still, people like us miners, we aren't awful, awfully talented lot. We tend to stick to this one path, unlike your adventurers. Going out and seeing the world as you like, if only I could do that. Um... Well, there are other people around. What do you mean too? He's just like me, not a talent in the world apart from mining, and not a lot of connections either. Ugh, I wish I could be like him, you know, being lost in his own happy little world like that. Oh, huh. interesting. Interesting. I was supposed to be trying to climb this cliff. I'm not doing a very good job of it. No, I was looking for the, the sun's out. That's what I was doing. <laughs> I got distracted again. This, this is fine. How am I gonna find it though? I don't actually know where it is. It's somewhere. Vaguely in this direction? Maybe? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know where it is. Maybe. Down here? Not all the way down though. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna try this again. See if I can get up there. Hmm. Okay, uh, let me see. Might be the master of one. Maybe. Master not feeling pressured to be a master. Fair enough. <laughs> a dental fruit. Pine one is a fruit and a fish now. I guess so. I, is that an upgrade or a downgrade? I don't know. I don't know if she should be like flattered or insulted. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> okay. Um. Wait, was I going this? No, I was going. Where was I going? Oh dear, I've gotten lost again. This is this is a great start. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, found it. That's the bird. Okay. Um. Oh, thank you for my extremely reminder. Um, yes, hopefully it was 2.10, but that's because there was a... M 
when I wanted to start streaming, Genshin decided we need to validate your files. And so it took, I started streaming a little bit late, but I did intend to finish at about the right time because, you know, it, it's a weekday. <laughs> but um, I guess we'll see. I do kind of want to finish this. So if it takes slightly more than 50 minutes, I might stream a little bit later, but I'm hoping it won't. Because, I mean, things are working, right? <laughs> okay, let me, let me go up here. I'm trying to get over there, but I'm doing it in like the wrong way. That's fine. <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, I think this is gonna let me go over here. Which is gonna let me climb onto this cliff. Perfect. Okay, I think I need to be over this way. Yeah, I think I have to be over here. Okay. Okay. Come on, Kazaha. I believe in you. <laughs> Kazaha, you got this. Climb up, climb up here. And then, and then wait a second. And then you can climb up there. How are you gonna get up there? I don't know. Can you, can you get up there? Oh yeah, it's perfect. Okay, come on Kazaha. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, we're quite near, but clearly I've been here before. <laughs> it looks like I didn't question whatever this is. Can I just... Ooh! The winds will... Ooh! I picked up a feather! Perfect! Ooh! Where does this go? <laughs> I don't know why I did that, but uh, that was fun. Okay, where's the final one? It's supposed to be... Somewhere vaguely in this direction. Uh, I remember it looked kind of like an island, and it's supposed to be the sundial. Hmm. Hmm. Where am I going to find this sundial? Is it here? Hmm. I might have to go and talk to the guy again. <laughs> I think we might have to talk to the guy again. It's okay. It's okay. We, we can do it. I believe. There's only one left. And it can't be that far away, right? Surely. Surely it can't be that far away. Hello. Oh, uh, several rows of names of Millie. Warriors are carved into the memorial and the following is inscribed below. With Lumia behind us, we fought bravely. Warriors all. We feared death not and not an inch did we yield. We accomplished the task Greg Lapis gave us and we did not betray the people's hopes. Let this stone be our witness. The years may erode all, yet the Millies shall never be moved. Nice. Um, Wong, tell me where the tell me where the thing is. Okay. Okay, so this. This. It's got some sticks and it's down by a path. Okay. I think it's down here though. This is like a path. Hmm. Maybe this is the wrong path. <laughs> okay, so we're looking for a pile of rocks with two sticks. Oh! Is it 
No, I think. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. No. That's that's not the right it's not the right pile of rocks. Okay, let's see. Pile of rock and two sticks. Maybe that way. It could be. I think it might be. I mean, they're kind of like sticks. Okay, that's not gonna be enough. Come on, Kazaha. Regain your stamina. Okay. Is it up here? Well, possibly. Aha! Uh -huh. I think we picked it up. Okay. Okay. Well, this worked. Oh. This is fine. Okay. Okay. Um, but yeah, that, that's the last one. Okay. Perfect. Let me go and talk to the guy. And we'll see if that what he wants us to do with all these items. Because we picked up all six now. What do you want with them? Okay. Ooh. Offer. Oh! Like the holes opened up under the original rock pile. Okay. Ooh! What are those glowing things? These are like artifacts. This small stone tablet has the following words inscribed on it. During the battle at the chasm, I lost the use of my four limbs and thus was forced to dedicate these, dictate these words for someone else to record and carve here. I survived the fifth battle, but each night when I thought, where I thought of our fallen comrades was asleep as one. And with my body in the state of how I detested the fact I was not privileged to join them. I attempted to join them only to have Rex Lapis hear of it and reprimand me, waking me from my stupor. Alas, for I can no longer make use of this gift of Middle East armor and equipment, they shall only accumulate dust if left in my keeping, and so I leave them here for someone fated to come and claim them. Everyone, though we can no longer do so in this life, let us be comrades again in the next. Let us then share the wine of sworn brotherhood once more and defend Liga from its foes. Okay. I see. The best chest, you want it? <laughs> I guess so, I guess so. I like it. That was cute i like it and that was that was pretty successful um hmm okay do you have anything else to say one oh wow you really found it so this is the treasure of the middle east then now i've got no clue what's in there but i'm sure the soldiers who left that treasure behind would be pleased to know that it was found it's been 500 years since that disaster when i think about how this place was once was well, the site of such an intense battle, one in which countless forebearers of ours sacrificed themselves, I can't help but wonder. Many of those people who went into battle alongside the Lord of Geo think that they would be remembered by people across the centuries? Did they ever doubt or falter in their duties? And as for those who never gained a vision, how did they remain loyal to God who has never showed them favour even until death? Um, that God never left their side, that they were loyal to their decisions as well. Yes, you're right, those with visions, those without, we are all working towards a future with limitless potential. I mean, that's why they call what they call motivation, am I right? We're the same, we're not here for the good times in the past or for self-realisation in the present, but we do this to support one another in leaving something of ourselves behind in the times we live in. Maybe someday in the far future the chasm will also become our memorial. And the pits and the valleys, the sweat of generations of Mayas, they all bear witness to the tough road we have chosen. Just like this memorial, this place will be here a hundred, even a thousand years from now as testament to the fact that sacrifices made here were not in vain. Well, I'm not going to live to see that happen, obviously, but if someone does come here someday to toast us poor miners long and after we've gone, that would be more than enough. Okay. Quest completed. Um, oh, Rimagahu, good night. Good night. I hope to see you on Sunday. Have a good rest of your week. <laughs> um, okay, Wang, anything else to say? Oh, great, Millie Pierce, please come. Please see it to the, the chasm does not act up these few days. 
It may we be safe and sound as we descend to the mines this time, and may those comrades of ours who no longer come to mine also fare well on their respective paths, protect us both merely to protect us. I like it, I like it. Thanks for watching everyone, if you've enjoyed the video make sure to like and subscribe. If you'd like to see me play live then check out my Twitch channel. You can find me on Wednesdays and Sundays at 8pm GMT. Thanks again and have a great day!